Hi, this is Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Today, we're going to look at an app called Ren Ren Shi Pin, which allows you to watch TV shows here in China. Let's check it out. Ren Ren Shi Pin uh, is a great free app that you can get on Android phones and maybe Apple phones. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I'll put a link below for you to be able to get the APK. Um, and basically, it allows you to watch TV shows from all over the world, China, Korea, Japan, uh, the UK, America, and many other Western countries. Uh, what you want to do first off is when you go into the app, you want to go to the bottom right hand corner profile. And that's going to bring you to the settings page and you want to sign in because you have to be able to sign in before you can start watching shows. So the blue button at the top right will allow you to sign in. You can sign in with uh, many different um, means. So you can use QQ, Weibo, your telephone number or WeChat. Uh, I just use WeChat as it's the easiest way to do it as I've already got an account. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my profile. Um, I'm currently at a level four. So that's the level that I'm at at the app. And that's because I've been watching TV shows, I've been watching clips and I've been doing uh, these little games that are within the app and making comments and liking stuff and sharing stuff. And that allows you to move up levels. Uh, you need to be able to get to, I believe, level four to be able to start watching TV shows um, without any sort of limits. And I'll do a separate video on how you can do that. And I'll put a link to that below as well. So we're all signed in here. And I'm going to go to the home screen. So the home screen will just give you a load of selection of clips, some links to the TV shows, etc. Um, but it's a bit of a mess. So we just want to ignore that. And we're going to go to the second icon with a star in a box. Uh, on the bottom of the screen. And this will bring you to the TV so, so selection. Now at the top of the screen, uh, there's different characters. Um, the first set of characters is just all. The second one across is for um, English speaking TV series, American, UK, etc. Then you have uh, Korean TV shows and you have Chinese TV shows or Hong Kong TV shows or Taiwanese TV shows, you know, from all different parts. And the last one is like a, a mixed bag, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, other, etc. We want to go to English and you'll see here there's so many, so many TV shows, English TV shows, and it's, it's all free. It's great. Um, let's have a look at some of the icons near the top of the screen. There's the play button and this kind of shows you what you've been watching recently or recommendations for you. The second one across is a calendar. So it tells you uh, what shows are going to be coming out on this particular day. Uh, so you know when the new episodes are going to be screaming and it's up to date just like that. I mean, you know, Fanny's been watching Killing Eve and uh, that was released today and it's on the app today. It's great. And there's a trophy. Trophy just gives you the ranking of kind of what people are watching. So a lot of people are watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now. Bing Bang is always very popular over here and among foreigners. And the last one is categories. So you can scroll through the categories and see if you want uh, stuff that's like action, comedy, etc. But it is all in Chinese, so you can kind of have to figure it out yourself. But let's have a look at uh, an episode so you can kind of see how it works. Oh, Ash versus Evil Dead. Great choice. Highly recommend the series. Love Bruce Campbell. OK, so here we're in Ash versus Evil Dead and there's comment button, another button, not quite sure what that's down for. And then there's download. So you can actually download the stuff onto your phone so you don't need to use up your uh, data as you're traveling and you can share as well. But the third little box down is a collection of numbers and these are all the episodes. So 
uh, with that's Ash versus Evil Dead. There's 10 episodes. Let's have a look at episode number one. Um, okay, you see, it's crystal clear, it's great. So sometimes you will get it that there's comments coming up on the screen. Um, it's a very Asian thing, people like to watch TV shows where other people are commenting. Uh, you can just click on the screen, it'll bring you a whole bunch of options for scrolling, for pausing, etc. And there's just an option that's has like a little box with uh, text on there. You just click that and it gets rid of it. And there's a whole bunch of options of, you know, like what you can do, you can share the TV episode, change the settings. I'm not gonna go through that, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. And if you go to the top right-hand corner when you're in a TV show, it will give you the list of the seasons. So there's two seasons here of Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, on the app. So you can go through those and you can select between them. And one last thing that I would like to show you is uh, next to the Starbucks is a magnifying glass. That will allow you to search for shows that you want to see. So we'll search for Ash vs. Evil. And it will come up with everything um, that's related to those words. Now here, uh, it's actually giving you Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3, but that wasn't included uh, within the um, actual TV series uh, when I went into it. So sometimes if your show's not coming up, try searching for it if you just can't find it um, within the categories part. Okay, well, that was Ren Ren Shipin, uh, this great free app that you can use in China to watch all your latest TV shows. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel uh, for more content like this. Bye-bye.